also I got a call from my agent in Melbourne who's looking after my my particular flat rental and she wanted to have a chat with me I didn't know what it was about I found out when I got home checked the emails and apparently uh, uh, the uh, person who there was a couple of friends who were going to do the do the cleaning for me she'd rung one of them because he, he's the only one with a reliable contact he was didn't seem happy to, to have received the call from her although I don't know how else he's supposed to get the, the details to do the work but um, and then he, he, he just told her I don't do cleaning so he basically decided not to do the job even though I'd paid him but um, so that left me a bit in the lurch and uh, I guess he maybe didn't understand what I wanted from him but I certainly the main thing was to have the place prepared for the new tenant and it looks as though I won't get my friends to do it it'll have to be done professionally so I'm not impressed with that you know just a lot of stress with this thing there's all these things going wrong um, but uh, you know that's what happens sometimes I guess uh, I would never I'd never get friends to do a job like that again because you know it's obviously you know it does cause hassles that's what people say and I've, I've copped it personally so you know you live and learn uh, so uh, I go back and Emma I say to Emma look can I I want to stay here another week now she's changed the tune and said oh no you can't stay another week we can maybe stretch it out a day or so uh, and then she said look I really need time away from having a, a, a tenant in there so I don't really even want to have to extend it a day or two so I said well fair enough I said look I've just got to know what what I can get how long I can stay at your place in Edge Hill so I can then work out where to book my next place because the longer you leave it the less options that are available as it turned out there weren't that many cheap reasonable options available on Airbnb because it's only a week or so away so I had to actually book a place in Sher on Sheridan Street and I'm going to go and have a walk to that now and I'm not haven't got high expectations but I had to have somewhere to stay I'm going to stay there a week and just check it out but the thing that worries me a little bit about it is that it, apart from the fact that it's actually on a busy road although I think it's a, a reasonable distance back from it it's uh, the rooms are actually you can have between two and five people sleeping in, in the uh, in the hotel rooms so it's it could be if you get a, a loud large group of say backpackers next year it could be very noisy so I guess it's 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 a lucky dip there um, so I don't know it might be okay the the Airbnb uh, reviews have been okay with a couple of you know minor minor faults but I don't trust those reviews much anymore I've, I've mentioned that in the past and it's not the most reliable review system Airbnb has uh, they don't seem to look after the interests of the people actually booking the places they're more concerned I think with hosts but uh, that's the way it seems to me but look maybe they'll prove me wrong so far look the, the latest Airbnb booking I'm in right now seems to be okay I mean things could turn but it seems fine at the moment it seems it's exactly what, what was advertised and you know I've got no complaints at all about what they're doing they've made they've gone an extra step and provided me with cooking facilities which weren't there and uh, you know they've yeah uh, Emma's uh, other half Ben's been pretty nice about it he's done stuff for me so look I've got no complaints at all um, it's just that I'm really I think I'm going to be having to get stay in a resort uh, and I'm probably going to be paying around 300 for a one bedroom as opposed to a two bedroom place so my guests will have to uh, I'll have to work out some sort of a bedding for them because uh, there aren't that many uh, furnished places around it is it's it probably a more unfurnished so it does cut the options down so if I want something nice it may not be huge but it will be quite well set out and that uh, that could be a place I'm going to be walking past now fairly well in about 20 minutes I'll be walking past it called Lakes uh, Resort and they seem to have a number of places that are for rent and uh, I get a one bedroom place there, got all the facilities of a resort, you've got the swimming pools, the barbecues, uh, the sunning areas and what have you, so hopefully it's a social place uh, and hopefully I'll be able to secure one of those at the end of the second week 
it's a week longer than I was hoping before I'd get a permanent place but you know it's just this is a reality of the situation I'm not even sure whether people accept me as as a um, as a tenant they should seeing I'm actually I'm renting out my own place I would have thought that would help but who knows um, fingers crossed I get somewhere uh, I've got an, an inspection next Wednesday at the lakes if it looks as good as it looked does on the uh, on the photos I'll go for it so uh, that's where we stand now apparently it's been a little cool up here the last few days uh, Ben's wrapped because he says he's been stinking hot prior to that and he just says it's really hard work and he does manual labor uh, does the synthetic turf uh, he installs that for a living so you know he'd, he'd really feel the heat he wants to go to the Atherton Tablelands where it's at least five to ten degrees lower so that's they've actually headed off uh, him and, and, and Emma and their, their kid headed off there for a, a night on the week on uh, the Saturday night and stay over there and enjoy the coolness anyway that's uh, brings you up to date